If you haven't heard of Palcohol, you're not alone. The product hasn't even hit the shelves yet, but it is already gaining national attention. It's a powdered form of alcohol. Colorado is the latest state considering a ban. KRDO News Channel 13's Bonnie Silkman brings us more on this new product, sparking a national debate. When you think of alcohol, you might picture wine, beer, or liquor, but now it's taking on a whole new form. And we've actually had some people ask about it, but you know, if it's not safe, it, it's nothing we want to do. This happens to be powdered vodka. Palcohol has stayed under the radar until now. Colorado Republican Representative Joanne Winholtz is sponsoring a bill to ban it. She has the same concern as Colorado Springs police. With a powdered alcohol, it can be readily concealed. So we could see this being taken into locations like sporting events. Uh, we can be, see it be taken to airports and consumed on airplanes. But in this video on palcohol.com, the, the creator, Mark One Phillips, drink. defends the product. You're not going to choose palcohol. The package is too big. Another concern Phillips addresses, the possibility of teens snorting the powder. It would take about one hour for someone to snort this much powder. Why would anyone choose to spend an hour of pain and misery snorting all of this powder to get one drink in their system? I know the guys are promoting her. I think they're saying that's not something that hurts someone, but how do you know until it starts happening? And, and, you know, these kids find out ways to do everything. And although it could be good for business... Then you think about the uh, convenience aspect of it and somebody that's hiking or somebody's on a cross-country bike trip or, you know, somebody that you know, doesn't have room to put a bottle somewhere, you know, so it could be both. And we always have people looking for convenience. Still, this liquor store owner isn't sold. If we get a big demand for it and the state approves it, it's safe, I mean, I'd probably have to sell it, even though personally I don't think it's the right thing to do. In Colorado Springs, Bonnie Silkman, KRDO News Channel 13. The state liquor board will be discussing the new product at its meeting tomorrow. And that brings us to today's web question. What do you think of powdered alcohol or palcohol? Should Colorado allow it or ban it? Leave your comment at KRDO.com or on Facebook or Twitter at KRDO News Channel 13. How about